Hi guys, I hope everyone is fine. If you are new to my channel, this is Nancy. Please subscribe, share and like my videos. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. So in today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to make this unique scrub art inspired by Uniform Advantage. Please also feel free to drop your questions at the comment section. And I'll surely get back to you. So these are the fabric I'll be working with. I decided to use two different fabrics so it can be well understood. You can decide to use a plain fabric for both the inner and the outer parts. So I'll be using this printed cotton fabric for the outer parts and I'll be using the plain fabric for the inner parts. Now I'll start by folding the pattern paper into two as shown. This is a unique scrub art which I saw on Uniform Advantage platform. I really liked it and I decided to make a video of it. Now back to the paper. The first piece I'll be working with is the center piece. For the center piece, I'll mark 5 inches at this side. Please take note this paper is folded into two. Now I will use a straight ruler to extend the line. On this 5 inches line, I would achieve the center of the line, which will be 5 inches divided by 2 and that will be 2.5 inches. Now I'll mark 2.5 inches. Now I'll place the tape at the center of the line as shown to mark 7 inches. The next thing I'll do is to use a straight ruler to meet these lines together. At this point, I extended to 7 inches. I will mark 3 inches. To get the accurate measurement, I will divide 3 inches by 2 and that will be 1.5 inches. So I will place 1.5 inches on the center of the line, making sure it aligns with the line. Now I will mark 1.5 inches before the point and after the point. So that will be 3 inches. Then I will extend the line. Now I will use a French curve to connect the points together as shown. So this is all for the centerpiece. Yeah, you can decide to cut out the centerpiece, but I decided to draft the side piece on the same paper. So for the side piece, I would mark 5 inches just like I did for the centerpiece. Then I'll extend the line. On this line, I'll mark 1 inch as shown. The next thing I'll do is to place the tape this way to mark 7 inches. Now I'll use a straight ruler to meet the points together. The 
this is four inches and this is one inch all together five inches now i'll use a french cup to connect the points as shown Now we are done drafting both the center and the side piece but for the side piece it has two patterns so i have to place this on a plain paper to cut the other side Please always take note that it is important to notch the necessary parts. For the center piece, these are the parts I notched. And for the side piece, I notched the side that has more of the curve. Now the patterns are ready. This is for the center piece. This is for the side piece. Obviously, you can see the parts I notched, and this is for the other side. Okay, for the cutting fabric, the first step is to fold this fabric into two. The next thing to do is to place the patterns on the fabric to cut out. I repeat the same process for the plain fabric which is the lining This is a complete set. Here I have three pieces for the printed fabric and three pieces for the plain fabric. The next step is to place the printed fabric on a paper stay or on a soft gum stay. Then I'll use a iron to gum them together. After gumming this day, I'll place the sides to the center, making sure that the notched parts are on each other. Then I'll pin all through as shown.
after pinning i'll take this to the sewing machine to secure both sides and i'll repeat the same process for the plain fabric now i've secured both the printed fabric and also the plain fabric now for the printed fabric i'll top stitch the right side in doing this i'll face both seams opposite each other this way then i'll sew a straight stitch on the right side of the fabric on both sides now i have top stitched both sides and this is how the wrong side should be after top stitching you place it this way then you turn the plain fabric to the wrong side then you make sure it faces the wrong side of the printed fabric now you use an office paint to secure this ultra shown now you take this to the sewing machine to secure it now i'm done sewing this and i removed the pins so the next step is to include a band to get the accurate length of band you need for this at this side where i have two stitches i will start by measuring one side of the stitch down to the other side of the other stitch making sure it doesn't exceed the lines so down to the end i have 28 inches so the length of the band i'll be making use of is 28 inches so this band here is 28 inches and the width is 4 inches now i'll fold this equally as shown After folding, I'll place one side of the fold on a paper stay as shown. Now I'll trim this out. On the side where I have the paper stay, I'll fold it in by half an inch. Now I'll turn this over to the wrong side. So on this part where I have a line, I'll place the band this way and I'll pin it all through to the other end of the stitch as shown. After pinning, this is how the back should be. Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the band. After securing the band, you fold it to the other side. Then you take this to the sewing machine to secure the opening, making sure that it covers the stitch. Now the band is properly attached. The next thing is to turn it to the right side of the fabric then you fold it equally so this is the front of the cap making sure that the two stitches are lines then i'll place the tape this way move it down so i get to four inches i'll use the tailor stroke to trace it out So after trimming, I'll open it up to get the length of the opening.
yeah the length is eight inches so this is the band i'm working with it's 1.5 inches in width and eight inches in length now i'll place this band on the wrong side of the cap and i'll secure it with a straight stitch After securing this, I'll turn this to the right side. Then I'll fold the band in by half an inch. Then I'll pin this all through to secure it in the sewing machine. Now the elastic casing is ready. I'll be using a 4 inches elastic band. I'll insert the elastic into the casing using a safety pin and I'll tack both ends. Now I am done inserting the elastic. Trust me, we are almost done with this project. Lastly, I'll attach a band in form of a bias tape. The length of this tape is 44 inches and the width is 1.5 inches now i'll fold it by half an inch and i'll fold it further in by half an inch and i'll fold it over as shown then i'll use a hot iron to press this Now I'll fold the tape equally to get the center of the tape. And then for the cap, I'll fold it equally to get the center of the cap. Now I would take the bias and open it up to insert the cap as shown then i'll pin it all through till the tape gets to the end of the elastic casing as shown So after pinning, I'll fold it at the tip this way and I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure this with a straight stitch all through to the end of the tip. The surgical scrub art is ready, you should give it a try. Thank you for watching to the very end and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like my videos and don't forget to Put on your notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new videos thank you